Diego. We're in Malibu. It's Sunday and Cody is currently running a half marathon, which is very exciting. His parents are in town. His dad's running a half marathon with him and his mom is kind of injured, so she's doing the 10K, but we are gonna go drive out to Ventura and see him at the finish line. And I'm running late, so we kind of have to get a move on. I'm really tired. I have a little scratch on my nose. And now we really gotta get a move on, so. Also, don't be alarmed, but Chili did get the worst haircut of all time. Yeah, it's just a little shorter than than we usually like here. If you say anything bad about him in the comments, I'll block you. Well, I don't know how to block anyone on YouTube. We're gonna do a little changing transition. Is this a good, supportive girlfriend, fiance, going to watch cross the finish line? I'm hungry. Coincidentally, this video has one of my all-time favorite sponsors, which is HelloFresh. So we're making some HelloFresh. I'm making black bean and green pepper flautas for dinner. I fucking love flautas. Cam's never gotten to try flautas before because she's just a baby. <laughs> what the fuck? Hello? Yeah. Hang on, I'm just on the phone. Yeah. Look at this pepper. Oh, that's a real pepper? Yeah. Oh my from, god, I thought it was a toy for from sure. From HelloFresh. That's insane. Okay, um, so never mind. As I was preparing to like saute the peppers and the onions, one of the kittens jumped onto the counter after licking all of the beans, proceeded to jump back onto the counter while we were watching, just too quick. So if anyone has any tips about keeping cats off counters, please let us know. He jumped into the peppers and the onions contaminating them with his little litter paws and then knocked them on the ground. We are not going to be eating that anymore. We're saving the other stuff. We'll make ourselves some like bean and cheese flout us at some point. But HelloFresh taught me anything. It's just get your ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. I'm just kidding. They taught me to keep trying even when times in the kitchen get tough. And so that's what I'm doing. And now we are making, drum roll please, zucchini and tomato flatbreads with lemon ricotta, fresh herbs, honey, and chili flakes, which I'm very actually, that sounds delicious. Let's get back into the montage and reasons why I love HelloFresh. Well, 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 here I am again talking about HelloFresh because it is one of my favorite things to use and I'm just so happy to have them as a sponsor. Um, so if you somehow, still do not know what HelloFresh is. It is a meal delivery kit where you get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. And I am not lying when I tell you guys that every single recipe, truly every single recipe I have made from HelloFresh has been delicious. Um, all of the recipes feature produce that goes from the farm to your front door in under a week. So the menus are always featuring the season's finest, freshest flavors. There is a reason I talk about HelloFresh so often, you guys, and it's because I've learned so much from it cooking wise. I've become more confident in the kitchen, which is something I definitely needed. Um, and it just like makes me feel successful and like a little chef. And by the way, it's the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all of the packaging is recyclable, which is amazing. Um, I love HelloFresh so much. You guys know that. And I know you all will too. So go to hellofresh.com and use code Kelsey K 16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Finally time to eat. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, ha. Okay, I'm starving. I can't wait any longer. Oh, it's really hot. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. That mm -hmm. ricotta. Mm hmm. The ricotta. Is oh, yeah. Mmm. Crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Nice work, HelloFresh. You did it again. Well, enjoy the rest of the vlog. Thank you. HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Love you, as always. Take a little jump.
jump scare every time I come up from the sink. There we go. Face. Fit. I have to put my shoes on and we're gonna get in the car right now. I'm driving, speeding, to try to make it there in time. I fell back asleep and overslept. And now I'm late. And I'm just a little bit mad at myself because I'm always fucking late. And I just really wanted to be there when he got done. And I'm just, I know I'm not gonna be. I also am like dressed for like sunny day and it's 63 degrees out and completely, like I can't even see the road ahead of me. I'm stressed, if you can't tell. Wake up, stressed. Go to bed, stressed. Eat, stressed. I'm just constantly stressed. That's what I'm trying to say with my little rendition of Kendrick Lamar's song. I'm just always feeling a little bit stressed. And it's like, what's the fucking point of, of it? It doesn't help anything. But if I was on time, I probably wouldn't feel stressed. But no, 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 God forbid. <sighs> he just finished and I'm still fucking driving. Ugh. I feel bad. That's as, as simple as I can put it. Should have been there. Okay, I'm vlogging this <laughs> because it's been so long since I've cried in a vlog. And I do think this is kind of funny. But I'm meeting them in a, in a parking lot. Somebody sent me a picture of um, some girl at the end of her at the end of the finish line holding a sign that says, That's my fiance with the guy when he finished running. And I feel bad <laughs> because I couldn't even wake up on time. And I know I'm gonna think this is funny. When I rewatch this, because it's so fucking stupid, I'm just a little emo. And Cody, if you're watching this, you made me cry, and that's not nice. And Chili's here, and he looks so fucking weird with his hair cut. And it's just a little bit funny, and I cannot believe I'm fucking crying in this vlog, but I think it's funny. And now it's like not so funny now that I'm looking at myself crying in, in the little video. I have acid reflux, I need some Tums. Hi. Um, I did a little outfit change. I have this sweater. I stopped crying, by the way. We're getting ready to go to dinner. We're gonna go to dinner with my parents and maybe my brother. Yeah, I'm on time, just so we all know. Uh-oh, shirtless Cody again. In the <laughs> we went to Erewhon to get some um, stuff for dinner. It's a couple days later after my mental breakdown in the Vaughn's parking lot after Cody's race, by the way. I went to Erewhon to get some stuff for dinner. We got some kale chips. Are they good? Yeah. What the fuck? Mm. What? Oh, incredible. What's in there? How do they do that? Oh my god. We got some salad. And we got some trout. And I got another one of my favorite apple cider vinegar drinks. It's gonna be a nice night. Guess what I did today, you guys? Went wedding dress shopping. Aww. I was gonna bring you guys along, um, but then I was a little bit late leaving the house. And I was gonna put in ones that like dresses that I didn't get, but then I didn't want Cody to see any. Thing about it. So I just decided to be in the moment and we go with my mom, just me and my mom, and I think I might have found my dress. We're getting married, we're getting married, we're getting married. What are you doing? Okay, say so one, two, three. Penis. 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 Okay, here. Is the trout? Mm -hmm. Oh God! It's hot. Oh, it's so hot. It's good though. <laughs> is it? This is um, steelhead or something. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's good, right? It's please, good. Please comment down below your favorite thing about being a calcinator. Let's see how the salad is. Mm. I'm really good. The salad, not good. Yeah, I don't know why you put that one. Everyone is so. Hit or, or miss. miss, totally. Some of the stuff is really good, and some of the stuff is like, this is like inedible. It's not bad, but it's not good. Welcome to Cody Baking Shirtless. Some of you guys have probably hey. written fan fictions about this. No, don't go under there. The oven's on. No. Yeah. So Cody, what are we making today? Uh, we're making these really good oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. The secret is molasses. You guys wanna hear a joke? So there are three moles in a mole hole. One mole sticks his head out and says, mmm, I smell something sweet. The next mole sticks his head out of the hole and says, mmm, I smell something sweet too. And the third mole 
is trying to stick his head out, but he's caught underneath his mole friends. And he said, that's weird. All I smell is molasses. Why was there molasses in the hole? Hamilton is joining us, so he's whisking. There we go, a little whiskey a biz. A little whiskey business. Oh yeah, that's whisked. I have another joke. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Butter Chicks. And she was just a little girl. And she was chilling one day, and she was riding her bike. All of a sudden, Butterchicks got hit by a car. No! Whole, I know. The whole crime scene. Her mom sees that she got hit by a car, and her mom's like, My Butterchicks! My Butterchicks! <laughs> and the police officer goes, Then why don't you scratch it, lady? <laughs> It, she like, turned out okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, but sorry, it's but it's just lit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What do you call a cat that's thrown out the window? Um, a throwing cat. Kitty litter. Mmm. Oops. Oops. I'm drinking a little butter in here. Mm. Oh, it's so it's a little bit of butter. Mmm. That was good. Sipping on some butter. Kitten scarf. Well, next up, it says, you know, that's weird. It says Kelsey goes and sits on the couch. Kitten scarf. It's weird. Got to get the do 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 All right, I'm going down the stairs. What the hell? A little squid ink in there. That's the real key. Kind of looks like a dick and balls. <laughs> this sure does. <laughs> That's uh, molasses, by the way, guys, not um, squink. Oh, phone's dead. Good. That's good. <laughs> Just eyeball it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Now you add the dry ingredients to the wet. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah! There you have your dough. This is literally the best. So he put some. In what, the world. what else did you put in it? Some oats and some chocolate chips, and then what you can do with that. No, 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 no. And we can do with that. And it's a huge bite. Mm -hmm. Y'all better move that dough, better move that. Y'all better move that dough. Cody in front of a bowl of dough is like one of the most insane things I've ever seen in my life. Like there's so much like heavy nose breathing and like, and like shoveling. Not even to eat the dough, just to scrape the remnants and to like lick the spatula. All right, they're going in. Okay, you guys, good luck in there. Cross your fingers right now. Everyone watching, please. Here's the finished product. You want to take them out just as they're browning around the edges. These ones are a little bit overdone, but these ones might be perfect or just completely raw in the inside. Either or. Oh my God. You've done it again. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Damn, let's go. You did it again. That's the one right there. Look at that. I mean, it's a sexy ass cookie. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's the end of this vlog. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. Like this video. I love you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.